Hello, today we are hopefully developing some film and I thought I'd do a video of a few clips of us developing the film. We've never done this before so it's not a step by step or anything like that, it's just showing the process of how it's done. So here is Neil preparing a dark bag. He tries to put film on the spindle for about an hour. When that fails we move to a room which had been prepared a few weeks before as our dark room. This is a good room for a dark room. Dark room, coming soon. Once the film was on the spindle, we set up an area to mix the chemicals to develop the film. Here we have colour developer, bleach fix and stabiliser. They had to be at warm temperature, so we filled a tub with warm water and added a fish tank heater as an extra. When it was hot enough, we set a timer to mix and rinse each one as the instructions said. Once you've got your supplies, it's quite a simple process. The tank with the film in did leak a little and that's normal for that design. Also, the chemicals we had in the bottle can be used within 30 days to develop more film. The moment of truth. The uncertainty. We're in this together, so if it doesn't work, then it's okay. It's just our first run. Yeah, it went on pretty well, sort of. Yeah, yeah. you did do it well. Sugar. Uh oh. It's a massive film. Oh, yeah, there's some photos there. <gasps> Yay! It sort of worked then. There might be some that I cannot do. I think up here, this first bit, is where I can get it on the wrong. This is where it goes wrong. And this is where it gets better! Yeah, can you see where the light's leaking onto it? Yeah, I can. Wait, where is this? Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Is this London? I'm gonna, yeah, it is. This could be the one you dropped, you know, where you ruined half oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Could be, but. We, so. On the bot, on the box. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Putting it in the scanner bed. We started scanning the film in our ordinary scanner. After some time, we learned the film had to be lit from either side and we needed a special scanner. A quick way of doing this without a proper scanner is putting the film up to light or on a device, such as the iPad, and taking a photo with a digital camera, then uploading it to your computer and making adjustments to the picture. These are some photos taken on my vintage Diana camera on a day out in London. I remember taking this one, it was of a waiter and he sort of caught a glimpse of me taking a picture of him. Here we go, here we go. Yay! <laughs> Look at the blue sky! Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> it's good for our sort of um, Woo low Way of doing it. Oh. I hope this isn't a bit of a boring picture because everyone was just like eating their lunch. Yay! See, if you didn't know the whole process of all this, then you you wouldn't understand this magic, would you? I'm talking to you. Oh, no, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Let's go make pizza. <laughs> Did someone say pizza? It's very funny, I don't know. 